Hey everybody, this is Mr. G, and I'm here with a tutorial for you on how to make some really cool text like this, where you can take your name and have uh, like a texture or a picture be part of the letters. So I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm just going to delete all my layers here and uh, give you uh, kind of how I did that. So I'm just going to start File New and just click on a new, a new document, and I'm just going to say uh, OK to whatever size it gives me. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a font that's thick and I'm going to click on the T tool. Okay, so I've got my font. I'm going to use impact. And the easiest way to do this is if it's not on impact, a lot of times it starts up here on, you know, Arial or something. I just click once and I type I and then it pops up the first font, which is in this case impact. I'm going to hit enter. It selects it. Then I'm going to choose a font size that's big. Now, if I click on the screen, I should see a, a cursor and I'm going to get that as big as I can get it. I'm going to try 288, okay? And I can move this before I even start typing. And I'm going to make sure that I have a black font selected so that on my white background I can see it. And I'm also going to make a new layer. I'm actually going to make a new layer so that I'm going to put my font on the new layer. I'm going to write my first name, Steve. Okay. Now, that's not big enough. So I'm going to type a bigger number. Now, it depends on what size you started with. So uh, 200 might be perfect. It might not be. I'm going to try 300. Nope, bigger. I'm going to try, I'm going to try 500. There we go. Now, to move it, there's this little uh, four-way arrow. It's at the bottom there. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it in. And look at that. It fits just perfectly. That's awesome. Okay. So I've got my name. I've typed it. It's a big, thick font. Now I'm going to find a picture. And what I did is I just put cool pictures, textures. And it gives me all these different textures. Like, oh, I like um, that's a cool texture. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to try this one this time. Okay, so it's, it's like a kaleidoscope of colored cubes. I'm going to wait for the picture to load. There's a little loading bar at the bottom. You want to wait till it's finished loading. I'm going to right click, copy image. Now, I'm going to go back to paint.net. I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to put it underneath my name. So I'm going to drag it down like that. So it was here and I dragged it down. And to make a new layer, you can hit Control Shift N or you can press this button. And I'm going to paste that picture. And I'm going to drag it out like this. Now, we're halfway there. So we've got the colored layer we want, and we've got my text and my name. Now, I really just need to get rid of a lot of the extra uh, stuff. So uh, we're going to use the magic wand tool, and I'm going to click on the layer that is the Steve layer, okay, with my name. And I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to click in this area above my name like this. And you'll see that it selected everything around my name, but not my name itself. And then I'm going to go to layer three, and I'm going to hit delete. And now, if I turn off my layer, you're going to see there's my name in black. And I can actually go to, now I can go to my black layer, I can put that underneath, and I can even move that layer using the blue arrow, and I can sort of make a little shadow under my name if I want to give it that sort of 3D effect. And voila, there you go, really awesome text, uh, creating a 3D image with your name, and that's it's not super hard to do. There you go, have fun with that, and I will see you next time.